Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. So, you were asked to read pages 8 through 11. One thing I noticed as I read is the photographs actually helped me kind of get a, an idea of how Thomas Edison was. So let's start on the section, A New Lab. So Thomas Edison found business partners to help him manufacture some of his inventions. And there is that word, manufactures, okay? So manufacture means that these people helped Get, they provided him money so that he could do experiments all day. This was the first time that a lab was open for profit. So Thomas Edison actually had the notion of creating or inventing things and selling them and making money and then in return giving the money to his investors okay so Edison at work in his Menlo Park lab outside so this is where his lab looked like okay these are actual photographs of his lab Thomas Edison sketched his ideas he had over 3,500 notebooks I find that very just wow interesting um, and one thing I learned is he never gave up Okay, he never gave up. So looking at just this section, a new lab, I want you to think about what was it? Well, let's think about all those inventions and how he had workers who worked with him. Why is it that Thomas Edison never gave up? Why is it that he was never told no? Okay, so this week we're just, we're working on questioning. So as we keep looking, it seemed like Thomas Edison was very, um, he was eager and he wasn't gonna let anyone tell him no. And he was very, he had many ideas, okay? So important inventions. Important inventions is actually very important because Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone in 1876, and in 1877, Edison found a way to improve the telephone. Okay, so Thomas Edison is moving us in the direction of having telephones that we had before cell phones became a thing. Edison was able to improve the telephone where people could talk through it and not, um, where you could hear each other and you didn't have to yell through it. Okay. Thomas Edison also improved the phonograph, which is, if you think about it, when you were younger, if you had a doll or if you had um, any kind of toy that made noise, it actually came from his idea of the phonograph, okay? It's when he recorded Mary Had a Little Lamb and he started putting these voice recordings inside dolls and different toys. This became very famous, and as you know, as years of technology advanced, that's how we got talking toys. So it all started with Edison, okay? Now, do you think if Edison was told no, do you think, with all the times Edison was told no, do you think that that stopped him? No, it didn't. He kept on, he didn't take no as an answer, he was determined. He wasn't gonna let no keep him from being successful. Like I've always told you, just because you're told no, that doesn't mean to give up, okay? Unless it's obviously a bad choice, but just because someone says no, you don't give up. Okay, now I am gonna give you a question to answer. And the question I want you to think about is, the author wrote the selection, imported inventions, most likely two, and then I'll give you an ABCD choice um, for Thursday, I would like for you to read pages 12 through 15. Now let's move on to our word work. So let me go to full screen. Okay, so we've been working with word ladders. Remember, word ladders, you're taking a letter and it changes each time. So you have sound, found, fond, pond. Uh, something is you also know that they rhyme 
which could be a key factor. So from sound to found, I changed the first letter. From found to fond, I got rid of the U. And from fond to pawn, I got rid of, I changed the F and the P. So I'm gonna give you a word ladder and you're going to find the missing word, okay? Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this session. Happy Wednesday and I will see you tomorrow.